We have some new patents of the Galaxy Fold 2, but uh, dear Samsung, where is the Fold 1? We see new renders of the Galaxy Note 10, now showing a vertical camera array and a different punch hole. And Apple could be releasing an OLED MacBook Pro and iPad in the very near future. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, my god, the comments and uh, this whole drama with Huawei intensifies. But we've actually got a break from that on this show. This is Pocket Now Daily, brought to you by Brave. The official news today are actually not going to start with deals. There are, actually, and we could leave it in the first link in the description as well. It's just, my God, we've got so much news to cover that let's begin. Starting with a new bill passed by the Senate for, you know, just getting rid of all the reasons why people in the United States don't take phone calls. Spam calling in this country is insane. I actually don't get phone calls from anything else other than spam, up to the point where it's the reason why the landline in my apartment is dead and it's just the worst. Think about it is there is a Senate bill, it'll charge $10,000 per phone call fine $10,000 per phone call whomever is found guilty. I just hope they figure that out because I hear that a lot of the calls are actually not originating in the United States. Now, how about if we talk about Snapchat, even if I rarely do because I don't necessarily care about it. Uh, and now I'm gonna care about it even less. Apparently there is a tool designed to be able to spy on you that was designed and able to help law enforcement. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but even weirder is the fact that we've got former employees telling us that they use these tools to be able to spy on you too, even if you're not law enforcement. Meaning that, uh, yeah, your save snaps, your location, all these things were being used to spy on you. That's rather sad, we haven't heard from Snapchat over what's up. Now let's move the spotlight over to OLED displays and MacBooks. Right now we just got a refresh on MacBook Pros, but uh, it's not the one we were expecting. We've been hearing the rumors of a 16-inch MacBook Pro under the same 15-inch footprint, meaning killing the bezels. And now we hear that Samsung is going to provide the OLED panels. Apparently that's gonna happen for iPads too. Just don't know exactly when that change is gonna come, but we're hoping it happens soon. Cause uh, yeah, $6,500 for a maxed out MacBook Pro is kind of insane. At least give me a better display. And speaking of Samsung, let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 as we've got some renders being shown off. These are not official leak renders. We're talking about somebody that designed them to follow on the information that we've had over what to expect for this phone. We hear that there's a center punch hole for the selfie camera, in addition to a vertical camera array at the back. It looks all cool. I'm hoping that it actually happens this way. And finally, the interesting news today are actually two. Let's start with the fact that we've got some patents that show us an outward folding Galaxy Fold 2 coming from Samsung. Obviously these are patents, we don't know when they'll happen. But you know what the problem is? We also don't know when the Galaxy Fold 1 is going to happen. And things just started getting weird, mainly because Best Buy has just notified pre-order customers that they're canceling their pre-orders because they don't have a date either. We have no information on the Fold. Uh, we heard that it might happen early June probably, which I would assume that if you made the pre-orders and were that close, then why is Best Buy canceling? If even retailers have a level of uncertainty, in today's question, let us know, I mean, what do you think? Aside from the fact that the Fold was crazy expensive, just the fact that you don't know when you're gonna get it is dramatic enough for me. I really like the product, but I have no information to provide. Let us know if you still care about this product, even if you didn't wanna buy it. Because uh, in my case, I would love to give it a try again, but it seems that things are extending themselves. I mean, also let us know, I mean, is what Best Buy is doing right now worrying you as well? Because I know that a lot of consumers will be. Today's episode of the Pocket Now Daily is brought to you by Brave. Brave is a web browser that works on your desktop or mobile, is based on Chromium so your plugins work, is ad-free, and is up to eight times faster than Chrome. It's secure, no trackers following your steps. You can earn BAT cryptocurrency and even reward publishers you like with it. Follow the link in the description below to learn more about what makes Brave so cool. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens there, and my personal handles are also there in case you want to make fun of me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.